Okay, so let's build ourselves a <clears throat> stack. Um, I'm actually going to make a, uh, a linked list stack. Oops. Uh, we're going to have a constructor, which has, um, I'm going to call it this dot top is equal to null. And I'm going to have an internal class here. I don't know if I can do that actually. Um, class, uh, I'm going to call it a stack node. And that needs to be, needs to have a constructor with a reference to some data and next. So this.data equals data. We can copy and paste all that, replace data with next. And over here, we can have some, uh, let's also keep track of the size. So the size will start at zero. Um, we can see if it's empty. Is empty. That's going to be this dot top return this dot top equals null. And we can say if we push something onto it, well, we need to accept a value as a parameter. We can say the node is a new stack node with that value. We can say that, that node points to the top of the stack. And now we can say the top of this stack is this node. And we can increment the manual keeping track of the size of that. Now, if we want to pop something, we can say uh, let result equal this dot top, we can say this dot top equals this dot top dot next, and we can return result dot data. So, oh, but I suppose before we do that, um, we should also make sure to say this dot size um, gets decremented. So it's actually not too hard to build a stack out of a linked list. Uh, let's go ahead and write the peak method as well. There we can just say return this dot top dot data. And if we wanted to do uh, a size method, we can say, well, size uh, return this dot size. I suppose someone could just access that themselves too. Um, maybe we'll call it we'll call it length. Um, it's kind of nice to get some consistent uh, methods between these data structures. Although I do think size makes more sense for a stack than a length. Oh well. So there we go. Uh, that's how we can build a stack out of a um, out of a linked list. Let's try and use this thing now. So I'm going to say let ss equal new stack. I'm going to say ss.push22. Now let's do it backwards actually. 55, 44, 33, 22, 11. And often the way to interact with stacks is you make a while loop and you say while SS, while it's not empty, let's get ss.pop and we can console log that. So what we should see here is we push 55, 44, 33, 22, 11, and those are going to stack up so that it's actually going to be upside down. So 55 would be on the bottom, and then um, it's going to look like this. Let's see, when we actually uh, create this, uh, well, 55 is going to be here, and then 44, 
33, 22, 11. That's because we push them all in order like that. And now when we pop them all off, um, we should print it out uh, in the opposite order. Something like, something like that. So uh, let's try and run this. And yeah, we see exactly that. So we pushed them all in um, and then when we print them out, uh, we see them come back in, in that reverse order. So the first, no, the last one that got pushed in is the first one that gets popped out. 